flags of all colors waved in the downtown core as the World Pride festivities capped off with what may be the largest pride parade in the city's history. More than 12,000 people and 285 float entries took part in the event to celebrate LGBT rights. It's been incredible. I think everybody's feeling、uh, excited about the culmination of what's been 10 days of unbelievable activity in the LGBT communities across Toronto and really around the world because we sent out the invitation and people have、uh, joined us from around the world for World Pride. So, you know, today is going to be incredible. I know that tomorrow our communities are going to have an incredible sense of accomplishment because we've been working very hard on this. We wanted to make sure that Toronto was ready to welcome the world, and we have. Despite the sweltering heat, onlookers joined in on the fun as the parade began on Bloor and Church streets, all the way to Young and Dundas Square. World Pride events were in full swing, and this Filipino-Canadian artist exhibited his work that talked about what it means to be a queer Filipino. Julius Ponslet Manipal was born in Manila and immigrated to Toronto in 1990. This was his first time being part of World Pride Week, as he showcased his artworks curated by Marissa Largo. So the idea of cabinet of curiosity comes from the play on word queer curiosity and the curious cabinet,、um, which dates back、um, to colonial period where.、Um, The idea is wealthy,、um, westernized Euro Europeans would travel、um, countries such as Philippines or India or any other exotic islands that they would colonize and bring back objects to display as oddities, as something different. And for me. It kind of makes sense for this show, especially being a queer Filipino. To me, I wanted to question that more, and especially being a colored queer Filipino within the mainstream of the queer community. It's predominantly the representation of the perfect queer white masculine male. Manipal's art is a digital collage of butterflies, used in a way that represents both his cultural and sexual identity. Upon closer inspection, there are many references to his roots as a Filipino, like the headdress of the mannequin, the butterfly sleeves, and the bahag. We need、um, to give voices and show、um, questions of why this is. Can it change? And for me, as an artist, it's important to express of what it's like to be queer and to be Filipino, and the struggles that I have to go through. For Filipino gay men like Manipal, their experiences as a queer is not a universal one, but his artwork is slowly putting them on the map. Rachel Cruz, ABS-CBN News, Toronto.